I've been wanting to do a video about Egg Horse for quite a while, so I think it's about time. If you don't know about Egg Horse, then you, maybe you've not been on the internet for very long, or maybe you just go to better websites than I do. I spend a lot of time on social media. Um, Egg Horse is a famous painting that basically became a meme. Um, thanks to, I think, a, a Twitter account that found it and shared it with a, quite a humorous um, little comment. <laughs> egg horse is great. I love egg horse. But over time, it's begun to grate on me a little bit. Here's the thing. Egg horse is really funny. And the idea that someone would agree to paint a horse um, when they didn't actually know how is, uh, is quite a funny one. Um, and I know that some of you might leave a comment down below saying like, Zach, you just need to lighten up. And that's very possibly true. But there's kind of, there's a bit of an undercurrent with this um, of chronological snobbery of like, ah, oh, these medieval artists, you know, Often they can even do the job that they were paid for, kind of thing. And I think it's important that we don't fall into this um, when we're looking at art. And here is the thing about Egg Horse. Egg Horse is really not an accurate picture of a horse, but it's very clearly a horse. So the artist, an artist, any artist, it, modern artists even, especially modern artists, maybe. Um, something being accurate is only one possible thing that they might be trying to do with their art. Now, we can't go back in time and speak to the artist that painted Egg Horse to find out why they did it like that. Maybe they were taking the mick a little bit. Maybe they were like having a little joke with the guy who was writing the words on that particular manuscript. Maybe the painting is really, really small. Quite often what we don't realize is that a lot of these paintings that we look at are much smaller than we see them on our screens. And so giving the impression of a horse is much more important than doing a very accurate picture of a horse. Another possibility is that this might actually be a comedy book. It might be a silly book and, you know, this is a silly horse that's ridden by a silly knight. It appears actually that the knight has fallen off the horse. Maybe that's why this horse has been painted in a silly way. So we need to be careful when we're looking at medieval art, when we're looking at any art, in fact, that we don't fall into the trap of thinking that it has been painted that way simply because they couldn't paint it any different, or they couldn't paint it any better. And when something doesn't look quite how we would expect, or when something isn't particularly realistic, we need to think about why the artist might have chosen to do that before we write it off as saying, well, this artist couldn't do any better. I hoped you liked this random little thought. Um, obviously, it's not really that important. He's just egg horse. He's quite funny. Um, it's so funny, in fact, that um, the meme even found its way to um, the Classic FM website. That's where I found a high-res picture of it. Um, but, yeah, it's just a thought. What do you think? Do you think that maybe we jump too quickly to think that um, medieval artists don't know what they're showing or are showing things because they can't do it in any other way? What other reasons for painting egg horse in that way or making other artistic choices can you think of? Do leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, check out my Patreon. Thank you so much to all of my patrons. Thank you especially to the night level patrons. Um, we've got Sirloin de Boeuf, we've got Robert, we've got Carrie, we've got Nightly underscore Lady and we've got Seth. Thank you so much guys for supporting me over there. And if you, the viewer, would like to support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description down below. Thank you so much guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.